Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to the Whiskey Friends with me, Alan. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks very much and welcome back. If you're watching for the first time, you may want to consider clicking the subscribe button down below and maybe hitting the bell for future notifications. Okay, guys, today's video, I'm going to try and do a quick one. Uh, Christmas is coming upon us. It's a time of year I get asked quite a lot. What can I get my partner, my mum, my dad, my brother, my sister, my friend? What can I get them for? I need to get them something, a little gift for Christmas. Can you recommend a whiskey? So I tend to do a lot of whiskey recommendations this time of year. I was going to try and do five, but when I delved into it, I really, really struggled to narrow it down to five. Uh, so what I've come up with, guys, I'm going to try and do ten in ten minutes. Uh, so I'm not going to crack around with it. I'm not going to mess around with these. I'm going to kind of whiz through them, give you a price point, tell you a touch about them. All of these whiskies, guys, there's nothing that if you live in the UK, you can't get at the touch of your button. You can have them delivered to your door. They're so easy to get a hold of. So if you live a wee bit further afield and abroad, in different parts of the world, I still think a lot of these are available. I don't know how easy they are to get a hold of, but certainly in the UK, you can pick them up in a moment's notice. So without any further ado, guys, I'm going to crack on. Uh, the first one... Under thirty pounds, yeah. Try to break them down to thirty pounds, forty pounds, and fifty pounds. So under thirty pounds, first one up. Abalow or ten, uh, sherry, forty percent ABV. I'm amazed that they can knock this out of this kind of money. I see. I have seen it twenty to twenty five, um, which is outstanding value. Super gift for anyone. And again, this would be one of my super, super recommendations. I have recommended this a lot over time. But Abel Hour 10, number one. Number two, uh, I'm glad to see this has made a comeback. It got discontinued in the UK a couple of years ago. It was available in, in overseas. Uh, I'm glad that Glenn Levitt has now decided to bring back the Glenn Levitt 12. This is an old Glenn Levitt 12. I have seen the new ones in supermarkets at the minute priced at 38 pounds but i think they're on offer just now uh, at 28 so at 28 pounds it's a fantastic off uh, price point i'm sure at some point i'm probably going to get a couple of these for christmas and i may decide to do a kind of head to head with the old one and the new one and see if there's a difference but at 28 pounds snap it up glenn live at 12 Number three, the slight change on flavour profile. Old Pulteney 12, again, around about £25. Uh, super value. Uh, yes, it's 40% ABV, but that, again, for me, for that money and the quality of the dram that's in this bottle, I've got no problems with that being 40% ABV. Would I like it at 43 or 46? Of course I would, but for that kind of money... That's a must, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to get this for Christmas. So, moving on, guys, into the 30 to 40 pound price bracket. This one, you may be able to pick it up under 30. I think it's more likely going to just be a touch over 30, but I'm sure everyone at some point has tried this one. It's Old Faithful, Glen Fid Up 12. I'm sure every bar in the country has one of these. Every household that's into whiskey will have at some point have had one of these. Again, that kind of 30 to £35 pound price point, it may be on offer. If you can snap it up for under 30 well done. Um, but again, it's a must for Christmas, this one. Very easy drinking. It's Glen Fiddock. Uh, this one, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you know how I rave about this one. Uh, it is... Kilkerran 12, for me, £35, I'm amazed they can knock this out at £35, it's complex, it's citrusy, it's it's got everything, uh, and for 35 quid, I'm not going to say any more about it, check out the video, uh, but Kilkerran 12, £35. This next one guys, uh, Ben Romack. I think it's a wee bit underrated, under, it's not on the radar. This Ben Romack 10, over the years, I've probably had five or six bottles of this. 
It's slightly up in the ABV again to 43. Uh, fantastic dram, complex. They've actually got a super range at the minute, Ben Romack. Uh, all beautifully priced. If I was to name another one of these, which I'd recommend would be the 100 proof, I'd certainly have a go at that. It's a wee bit more kicking that one. But Ben Romack, 10. Moving into the 40 to 50 pound price bracket, guys, which is another one that I've reviewed. Um, Deanston 12. Super. You can see I'm getting on well with the Deanston 12. I may have to order myself a new one of these. Uh, I paid 40 pounds for it at the distillery. And I'm sure if you look around, you may be able to get it a little bit less than that. If you do, again, snap it up. Back up to the 46.3% 46 ABV. Natural colour, no chill filtration, so beautifully presented, super gift. Moving on to number nine, Glen Dronach, one of my favourite distilleries. Uh, back 43% ABV, so a little bit higher again. Uh, Sherried, beautiful. It's quite, it's the right review for this because there's a touch of Christmas cake in this one. So, again, Super value. If you get a chance to buy it, if you've not tried it, try it. You'll love it. Even get it, you treat yourself to a Christmas present. I'd do this one. So, yeah, number nine, Glendronach 12. And then moving on to number 10. I wouldn't recommend this one for beginners. Again, this one, if somebody wants something a wee bit more complex, uh, hats off to Diageo, 45 quid. It's not moved very much with that. You may be able to pick it again up on an offer if you can get it anywhere between 40 and 45. Again, I'd snap this up. This is a wonderful, wonderful whiskey, whiskey from one of Scotland's top distilleries. Um, again, super, super present. Look forward to getting some of these. So, that's cracked on with a 10. Let me see how I'm doing for time. Yeah, I'm okay for time. To narrow it down to 5, if you... Pushed me into a corner, where would my five be? My five, to be fair, would be, let's go, number five would be, let's have a look. Old Pulteney. Old Pulteney 12, super. I think it's fantastic value for the money. Super. So that'd be number five. Number four would be... Glendron up 12, again, sherried, slightly different again for the old Pulteney, 43% ABV, no colour, no chill filtration, super. Number three would be Deanston, again, 46.3, no colour, no chill filtration, fantastic value, just how I like it. Number two would be oh, Klein Leash. Again, 46% ABV, superly complex. Uh, again, I wouldn't buy it for a beginner, um, but for my palate, this is superb. And you've probably guessed what my number one would be. Uh, Kill Karen. It's got everything, it's non-coloured, no chill filtration, 46% ABV, 35 quid. Super, super value. Perfect present for anyone, guys. Um, beginner, somebody who's well into a whiskey journey. I think everyone would love this, guys, at some point. And, and in fact, I've not found anybody who doesn't like it yet. So that would be my top five. Uh, coming in, I might just make this. If I was going to recommend one whiskey over fifty pounds is that special gift, it would be back to Glendronach. Glendronach Allardyce, eighteen year old, all rose of sherry, sherry bomb, sherry monster, sherry, sherry, sherry. It's getting harder to find, guys. This may be the last Christmas you may be able to find it quite easily. It's around about ninety pounds. Uh, I'd snap it up at ninety pounds. I actually think there's rumours there's more than 18-year-old in this. 
super super whiskey so i'm coming up just hit my 10 minutes gonna end this video with the usual housekeeping if you've liked it guys give me the thumbs up if you've subscribed thanks if you haven't subscribed please hit the button down below and click the bell like to wish everyone a merry merry christmas and i'm alan until next time thanks very much